Yeah, so if you look on there, it should be up there right now. So. Yep. Yep, it's on there. Right, there we go. So I just got to, uh... And that way I can look at the All right, so you can see that you be looking at the chat. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm trying to I'm trying to get it to go. No, you know what? I'm gonna leave it like that. That actually looks good like that. I'll do some. I'll do some changes to it later. You know, you know what? what? I'm, I'm actually, actually trying, trying to. to I'm trying, trying to, to see, see the, the uh, chat. chat. Like, like uh, the, you probably have to turn your phone in in uh, portrait mode. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then you can see yeah. it. You can see the chat. Yeah, yeah. you're right. right. I'm sort of like that. that. Okay. okay. Right. All right. Uh. What's going on, everybody? Uh, we got Wets. We got 10 people, man. These folks coming in pretty fast. We got uh, <laughs> Wets Mobile Detailing in the building. I'm going to have to get my glasses to read these, uh, read it on this phone. But uh, yeah, y'all already see with the title. We're going to wait. We're going to wait a little while uh, till it gets some more people in here. So <clears throat> hold on. I'll be right back. Let me go grab my glasses.
Yo, so like, uh, what's the worst, like, what's the worst, um, what's the worst job you ever had? Like, like, as far as like, uh, the worst detail job you had and the worst nine to five you ever had? Uh, let's see. So, so the first, the worst, worst detail, detail I had, had was a couple, couple months ago, ago, man. This lady. She hit me up and she said, I got this. Well, actually, it's two of them. <laughs> it's two. Okay. I actually had one person last month. She said, my car been sitting for two years and it's been at this auto body shop and I need you to take care of them. I said, okay, well, you know, this is my starting price, whatever, blah, blah, blah. She said, okay. So I went, you know, I. And she asked the auto body shop if I can detail it there. And they said, yeah, no problem. Okay, cool. So I'm detailing it, you know, they coming, the people that work in the shop, they're coming outside to look inside of it because they saw what it looked like before. So once I finished, they was like, oh, man, you did this? I was like, yeah, yeah. You saw the before pictures, you know, uh, and live in person. They saw. They were like, "Oh man, I need a car." I said, "Okay, here you go." So you know, it was just you know, it was mold, you know, stuff everywhere. I said, "Okay," you know, took care of that. You know, customer was happy, no problem. Then I had a, uh, another one a couple months ago. Hers was the same way. She had a minivan. Hers was sitting for about a year ago. I went, I went to the auto, auto body, body shop, shop and did that one. The same auto body this, shop? No, 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 no. This was a different auto, auto body, body shop. shop. Okay. She, she had, had got, got my numbers, numbers through a, um, somebody, somebody else referred it to me. Mm -hmm. and, and when, when I, I got, got to that, that oh, oh my goodness, goodness. I, had I had to go live for a second to, to actually come believe what I was doing. It it had everything. Everything you can name under the sun. It took me... It took me about maybe four hours to do it, and, you know, once I finished it, the same reaction, the people came out, they were like, oh, okay, can I get a car? I gave them a car, so I got business off that. And so, you know, it was happy customers on both ends. Um, I'm not going to say, okay, so for, for my nine to five, I had a job back in 2016 where... I left a previous job because they didn't see me going in the company. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to leave because this other place is going to give me more money. I went. They, they paid me more money, but I wasn't happy. And I found out, you know, how they say that when you leave somewhere to go somewhere else for more money, you might not be happy. And that was true. I wasn't happy. I was making more money, but I wasn't happy. I was like, I gotta, I gotta do something else. So, what did so, you hate, what did you hate you know, about the job? It was co worker. The co worker, the person who trained me. It was the the co worker. It was behind the scenes job. So, it was like a, a, um, a warehouse, and I was doing inventory, and um, I was doing online inventory. I was making labels, things like that, so, so to speak. And so, the person who trained me, I kind of felt like she kind of trained me to set me up to fail because it was like she was, I'm not going to say she she was my boss, but she was over the, in that area. But it just seems like she trained me the way she wanted to be trained and not let me make the mistake and then correct it. And so, it was just like, she felt like now she was older than me and you know my parents always taught me respect your elders and that's what i did but my wife was like in that instance she was a co-worker and she felt like she can talk to me in type of way so instead of me disrespecting her, what i did is i put my two weeks notice in and i started driving for uber and lyft and see if i could make that same money while i was working there and i did so I put my two weeks in and quit. And but so that was just a temporary situation. And I knew, you know, I was gonna have to find something else. And I was like, I gotta find my my, my passion. And then all you know, long story short, but 
my dad, uh, you know, he passed five years ago, but he always gave me the game, and I didn't realize it till almost two years ago. Man, my dad used to have my mom's car shining. She was the only car in the projects back in the day to wear. Where'd you, Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. East Side. Okay. And so in the, in the winter, her car was the only car that was shining. And so I had to think about it. I said, you know what? Wait a minute. I'm good at cleaning the cars and I'm good with my hands. I said, I told my wife, I said, you know what? I'm going to start with mobile cars. She right. said. Hold on. Let me stop you right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what's going on, everybody? We got Eric Wetstone in the buildings of Wet Mobile Detailing. Um, I came across this guy. Uh, I'm assuming that he found me on YouTube and he started following me on Instagram. And I will always see the name. I will always see his name pop up, Wet. And I would be like, yo, that's kind of cool because it's, you know, it's kind of sound like wet, you know, and <laughs> that the name caught my attention. But I would I would, you know, he would post pictures and I would just see pictures of cars, pictures of cars, pictures of cars. And I would see videos of cars and, you know, no different from any other mobile detailer that follows me. And uh, I, re I rarely follow other mobile detailers. Uh, I, I only follow a a few of them, and he was one of the ones that I followed. But I, but uh, I never really focused on his page. We, he was, we was. Uh, I think he was following. We was following each other for about six or seven months, or probably even longer than that. And mm -hmm. one day, one day, I was watching. I something just caught my eye. I was scrolling up my Instagram, and something just caught my eye, and I started watching. And it's this guy. And he was in a wheelchair and he was detailing. And so I called G-Works and I said, G, I said, yo, yo, you follow the same guy, right? I said, man, did you know that guy was in a wheelchair? He was like, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, I know about him. I said, yo, I've been following that man. I said, I feel, I said, I feel bad. I've been following this man for six, seven months and I never took the time to look at his page and to see that. And and then he had one post when you did like yeah you, you actually like you had some gospel playing in the background mm -hmm. and you was like you was pumping yourself up it was it yeah. looked like you it looked like you was fresh you just got up you was in the car you was about to go out there and go get it and I was like yo you know what I'm saying so like and I was like that's a person who wants it bad he may not know everything he may not know exactly what he need to be doing or where he going but he know he got he wants it bad and he gotta do something he gotta <laughs> do something you know what i'm saying and you can see it in a person you know you watching a person and you be saying okay that's wrong that's not, well not for you like i didn't see anything that you was doing wrong <laughs> but i'm just saying sometimes you can look at a person right and they can be doing something but this is wrong and that's wrong and it's wrong but you don't care because their drive is so high, it's like that person, even if he's doing it wrong, his wrong is going to be better than a whole bunch of people's rights. You know what I'm saying? So I was just looking, I was just like, yo. So uh, I instantly was like, you know, I need to, I need to interview this guy and just, I need to, I need to hear this story because I know he got a story or a struggle or something. And so I was like, I need to talk to this guy. But, um, I used to do my interviews through Google Hangouts and they discontinued Google Hangouts. So uh, in between me working, in between me being so busy, uh, I couldn't I couldn't figure out how to use another another uh, what you call another streaming service to to do my interviews. So that's that's been the hold up because I want to interview you last year or. It was either, yeah, last year. It was like last year I went to interview you last year. Okay. okay. Never got a chance to it. Just never got around to it. But every time I would see your post, I will be like, yo, I got to talk to this guy, you know. But uh, I saw where you was going with where, where I stopped you. I saw where you was going. 
And that's why I mm-hmm. stopped you because I had to go ahead and introduce you so we can just go and get into it. But this okay. is Eric Whitstone. Again, this is Eric Whitstone, Whetstone from Whetstone Mobile Detailing out of, uh, was it New Brunswick? Uh, uh, Brunswick. Brunswick. Brunswick, Ohio. Brunswick, Ohio. Originally from Cleveland. What'd you say? East side. Okay. East side. East side. Yep. East side. Okay. So, yeah. So, um, so my first, one of my first questions, I'm well, my first question I'm going to ask you is, mm-hmm. why did you, you could go back and, because I know it's going to be that same story that you, I cut you off on. So I'm okay. going to ask that question so you can continue on with that. But, what got you wanting to do mobile detailing? Like, what inspired you to start doing it? And why did you start? Why mobile detailing? Well, you know, it's like I was saying before. I got inspired just because, you know, once I started to do the Uber and Lyft, I knew that was just something temporary. And I had to find my, my niche, my passion. And my passion is cars. I love cars. I don't like... I, 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 can't I can't stand the dirty, dirty car. I don't care if it's inside or outside. If your car ragging on the outside, you keep it clean on the inside. I've been there before. I kept the car clean on the inside. But, you know, my pops, man, you know, he just I always saw how he kept his car clean. You know, he always he was a Chevy guy. So, you know, he he had Chevys and kept them bad boys clean and, you know, just down to the T. So. And, you know, it was just. It was it's just something about you know cars. I love cars. You know what I'm saying. So I I always say you know I know I can do that because I'm good at it. So let me put my passion into it and turn it into a business. And that's what I did. Okay. It's my second year. It's your second year. All right. Second year. Um. So you you how was your first year? And if you don't, if you don't want to answer this question, you don't have to. Mm-hmm. But how was your first year? How much money did you make? Uh, let's see. So my first year, I started in September, and I did probably get a call. Probably, let me see. No, actually, I started announcing my my, my business. I said like around late uh, August. I didn't get a call probably to like the end of September for my first customer and then throughout that winter i was slow i was slow for that winter so i i'll say from from the time i started it from that september just because it was going into the late fall into the winter i'll probably say i made probably somewhere probably like maybe you started later you started later in the year okay so yeah, it wasn't a full yeah. year is what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. So, no, no, it wasn't a full year. I started in, in September. And so going from September throughout the winter, it's just, you know, it was slow. So I, I, I'll say I probably made, you know what I'm saying, I had a couple of cars here and there. So I think I probably made maybe 500, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. And that 500, you know, that – you know, that humbled me, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't have a, you know what I'm saying? It was just something that that I knew I can work off of. And so after that, once the winter broke, that was all she wrote for me. People start, you know, I start advertising, in, you know, in different ways, you know, getting out there, um, letting people see me do the work. And, you know, they start, you know, asking for my cards. Okay, so just being seen. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, now you're you you walk on crutches. Correct. But you use the you use the uh, the wheelchair. Use a wheelchair because it's easier in the wheelchair. It's I, I walk with crutches. So um, I have a disability called spina bifida. It's a spinal cord injury uh, at birth. So where the spinal cord doesn't fully develop at birth. So, you know, um, just to give you a little background, my, you know, my parents and siblings never, you know, baby me or, or, or say, hey, this and that. No, you're going to go out here and do this. We're going to show you how to do that, blah, blah, blah. So 
I um used the wheelchair as a to to, to move faster, basically. You know, because I can. You know, I right, right, right. I have great upper strength, so I can move faster and do everything. You know, just sitting down. And if I need to get up, you know, I climb up on my on my step ladder to get on top of you know top of the car to drive it off or a truck or stuff like that. But you know. Okay, so like, so, uh, so, did did your disability did it did did you ever when you started when you said okay I'm gonna start my business I'm gonna start this mobile mm-hmm. detailing did your disability uh, did you have any thoughts about it was it, it was it a factor in your mind did you ever think about it because you know. I know some vehicles might be high lifted or, or, mm-hmm. or so like, what was your thought process? I mean, I know you, I know you thought about it and you was like, okay, right. you had to come up with something. You had to come up with a way to, to get over that hurdle. So like, right. how hard was it to come up with stuff? And did that kind of make you, did, did, did that kind of make you want to limit yourself? No, no. no. So, so when, when I, I you know, you know, got, got into, into the business. business. I was saying, you know, I was just thinking about everything I would need. And so I was doing a few cars here and there. And once it got to the point where people were scheduling with me to with bigger and taller vehicles, I said, okay, well, I'm about to step my game up. I got to get a step ladder. So the step ladder, that helped me, you know, to, to another advantage of, you know, trying to get everything taken care of. But, um, Going going into it, my process, my thought process was people gonna look at me like, well, how he gonna do that? Or they be like, well, nah, you know, I don't want him to do my vehicle because, you know, he may not be able to to do this or or he's not that good because there's so that's, that's what that's what you think that that's what you was thinking before you started. Right, right, right. Because right. I'm thinking people, you know, they're prejudging because they're looking at the outside. The right. physical part of it. Right. So, so how did you get past that? Like, like. Man. Mm-hmm. Huh? It was just to me. It was just a matter of a matter. I, I knew I could do it, so I didn't let what people thought that I couldn't do. As my dad used to say, or my parents used to say, I can show you better than I can tell you. So that was my. I can show you better than I can tell you. All right. So, uh, guys, y'all see the title, right? And. The title is, is How Bad Do You Want It? And like when I, when I, uh, when I think about stuff like that, like when basically like when I, when I started my business, I wanted, you know, I wanted to have a certain level of success. So I wanted it bad. Uh, I have obstacles as well. But I wanted it bad. So uh, certain things that people would bring up to me, uh, it wasn't as it, it wasn't, you know, because now when I look at him and as he's telling me his story, my hurdles <laughs> don't seem like really hurdles now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, but when you don't have anything to compare it to, uh, I mean, you think your problems are the biggest thing in the world. And, you know, but no matter no matter what I thought or no matter how I felt about certain things or the little doubts I had in my head, it wasn't enough for me not to do it. You see what I'm saying? Like even mm-hmm. though even though you had those obstacles and that's what I like, like it's it's how it's how bad do you want it? Right. You know? And so it was like I want it bad. So, you know, yo, I got these obstacles, but they not bad they it's it's not enough to tell. It's not enough for me to say I'm not gonna do it. Right, right. You know, and so okay, so like, so prices, prices. Mm-hmm. We talked about prices earlier. Right. Uh. So how did you how did you come up? Like how did you come up with your prices? Did you just say? Did you just throw a number out there, or uh, that was the that was like the going rate in your hood, or or or. Like, like, how did you come up with no. your prices? Well, well how, 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 how I came up with my prices, prices is something you probably don't know. know. 
I started I started following you on YouTube, and I saw how you how you navigate things and. And what you said was like, you know, you got to start somewhere. So I started somewhere, you know, and to get my name out there. And I figured once I got my name out there and I started using different products or better products, then eventually I would have to change the game as far as upping my prices on different things. So that's, you know, that's what I did the, the first year. And, you know, going into this year, things going to be a little bit different for me because I, I, I up, up my, my price, price, you know. I'm, I'm going to up my price, price a little bit just, just because I'm using better products. I I've, I've gotten, gotten better, better, you know. I, I studied study certain things. things I know that I'm, I'm doing, doing better, better at. at. Okay, so like, um, so what what was your starting price the first year? What was your starting price? Twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. Do you remember your first <laughs> detail? <laughs> do you remember your first? <laughs> do you remember your first full detail? I do. I mean, no, no, I'm sorry. Do you remember your first twenty five dollar detail? Yeah, yeah I, do. I do. Okay, how did it I go? Do. It, how, how did it, it go? was a it was a PT Cruiser, man. Oh man, and it probably was it, trashed. It, they had pet hair, and I didn't, I didn't know back then. Like, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of detailers say, "Hey, if it's pet hairs, that's extra money." Or if that's not included in your full detail, because of me, you know, at that time, I would just, you know what I'm saying, throwing a number out there and trying to get things going to, okay, well, this is full detail. So then I start doing my research and seeing what is considered, you know, in certain packages of full detail. I was like, you know what? I was undercutting myself. <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, you know, I learned from that. Okay, so like... When when that happened, right? So like, how did you feel after that detail? Did okay? How much did they pay you after you got done? They paid me seventy five dollars. Okay, all right. Seventy five dollars. All right. So you didn't feel so bad about that one, okay? So I didn't feel so bad about it. But you still but thought it was more than that. It was worth more than right. that. Right. Okay. Right. right. It was worth more than that. Just just because my time, because I did, you know, because. With me, I want to make sure I get every little piece of dirt. And so that took me like maybe four hours. And I was like, okay. So as, as I went on, I was like, wait a minute. And then I started learning different things. And then, you know, other detailers, I've, I was watching them. I'm like, wait a minute, what am I doing? So, you know, I had to, you know, I had to learn from that. I had this one lady where to get my name out there again. She wanted she she wanted an interior uh, job done interior, so she had a, a kid Optima. She had dog hearing. I charged this lady twenty five dollars. Get my name out there for interior. I said okay, man. I was just like uh, okay. So that took me, you know, saying a real, hours. this this is this is your real year. This is this yes is, this yes is my first the of the year. Yes. Yes, beginning of the year. So, you know, I did it. And then she called me back a couple, no, she called me back a month late. She said, hey, no, actually, she called me back going, going into the summer. But that's when I had found out of certain things that I know, you know, since certain knowledge of certain things. I said, it was almost, it was like a year and some change had passed. Yeah, it was going into the winter Wait, wait. when I first did it. The first time I did it, it was like late fall. Okay. And so she called me the second time, and this was spring. Okay, so it's it's not a year yet. Right. No. No. It's 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 in the same year, but it was spring. So. Okay. So she she called me again, and I was like, "Well, you you know what? Um, first I want to tell you thank you for your business as usual, but." You know, the price that I gave you before, that's not going to be the price for that. She was like, oh, well, I don't think I can use you anymore because because I, I gave her a different price. And she said, oh, no, I can't do that. I said, OK, well, you know, sorry, but, you know, things are changing, you know, changing in my prices. And, you know, I, I can't do it for that price anymore. She said, well, that's OK, because I can go get a full detail for uh for uh forty five dollars. I said, OK, that's fine. But Wet's Mobile Watch won't be able to do that. And I, you know, I, I was nice about it, and that was it. And that's how you handled it. That's how you yeah. handled it. 
And I'm glad you, you know, I'm glad you coming in, you know, you coming in with that, with that mindset. Um, but I've made, I've made mistakes like that. I, I, I did the same exact thing. Uh, I really wanted, I really wanted it to work, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't care about like two bucket methods and like all mm-hmm. that, all that stuff that people, you know, bog their mind down with. I was like, mm-hmm. listen. I need to get out here and do a car and somebody give me some money. Right. I need to spray some water, turn on a vacuum, <laughs> and I need to get some money. That's that's right. That's all I cared about. And I said, I can figure out everything as I go. I'll be okay. And that's I tell you, experience is the best teacher. Ain't nothing about like what you see, what you learn, and what you feel all at the same time. Like. Like, mm-hmm. You did that car for twenty five dollars, and I know when about an hour and a half passed by, you just thought to yourself, "Dang, I should yeah. charge way more than this." And then the thing about <laughs> it is, right? And the thing about it is, I bet you that car was gonna be in the same condition that it was when you did it the first time. Yeah, I bet you yeah. it's gonna be. I bet mm-hmm. you it's gonna be. And and the thing is, is that what I started learning. Is that when I started doing those cars, like, and, you know, when you charge that that price, I learned that $25 to, like, 50 like, around in that area, mm-hmm. uh, well, I'm not going to say 50 but that, that, that 20 to 35 range right up in there, that's mm-hmm. when you get the worst cars. Yeah, and because, they're expecting everything. Right, because I'm looking at the car and I'm like, you know, this and this is what I learned. See, you don't know this. You don't know this when you start. Uh, you know how to do a car, but you know how to do your car that you keep right. clean. Mm-hmm. Your mom's car that you keep clean. Right. Your sister's car that you keep clean. So yep. it's... That like I remember doing some cars. It was the first time I ever seen a car with pet hair in it. Cause, cause you know, I, I mean, we had a dog. We had a dog years ago. The dog didn't ride in the car with us. Right, you know, right. And the, dog, yep. and the dog and the dog didn't even shed either. But we, you know, I, I never, you know, I never thought about that when I first started. I never thought mm-hmm. about pet hair and, and, and things like that. So the first time I actually did pet hair. I was like, oh man, I'm talking about I vacuum for hours. No drill brush, no lily brush, no stone, no yeah. nothing. Just, you know, you, you don't know no better. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at $25, those are the worst cars. And that's the thing that I learned. You learn that demographic. You learn that yep. demographic. But there is a you can service that demographic and make a lot of money. You could, but you have to offer a certain package. Right. right. You can't give them too much. Right. right. You know what right. I'm but see, right. you. But see, I'm not that. Is, right. But see, the thing is, is that you coming in as I did too. We coming in thinking, you know, I'm gonna do my best work. I gotta mm-hmm. do the best. I can't leave the car like this. I gotta do my best work. So even though it's only twenty five dollars. I'm gonna give them a hundred dollars worth. <laughs> you give them basically right. give them a hundred dollars worth of work, you know. Right. And and and, and they not they don't appreciate it. And that lady did not appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? No, but she, she no, but she, she gave you hold on. But she's the one that gave you seventy five. No, she the one that just gave you twenty five. Right. She didn't right. give you no tip, did she? Nope. Exactly. See. She told she me thank you, and that was it. See. And how long did it take you? <laughs> took me like, like three and a half hours. hours. Four hours. So you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm mm-hmm. saying? A bad customer versus a good customer. Mm-hmm. You will learn that. And when you get your good customers, you know how to, you learn how to appreciate them. It is it, it's, it's you know, it's it's a difference of you need some water. Oh, you know, right. you're making sandwiches, you want one? Yep. You know, yep. oh, you want a beer? You know, versus you just out there. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't see them until you knock on the door and tell them you're done. Or yeah. them coming outside looking over you. You gonna get that right there? You gonna get yep. this right here? What about that? Yep. Hey, yep. what about this? 
What about that? You know, they point at everything, tell you, you know, and you only charging 25 bucks. Mm -hmm. But you live and you learn. Uh, yeah. So, so when did you, when did you, uh, when did you raise your prices? Um, so, I raised my prices from from going from last summer until until now. Okay. And so going into the new year, I'm gonna change them again. Just like I said, you know, I've I've learned so much over the last two years. I you know I'm using better products. You know, my time is money. Right. And I, I and, and you know, know I had to I tell that to myself, myself. You know, no, I I understand. I want to make sure everybody's you know vehicle is 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 done the way I want the way I would do my own. So I'm gonna treat it that way, but I want to make sure I'm getting compensated for it too. Exactly. Okay. So what's your what price do you want to be at? What price you want to be at for your 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 lowest price for just a just a a wash, wipe down, a vac, windows, door jams. What, what you, I would say, say for that, for, you know, I would say somewhere around $50. So you want to be at $50? Somewhere, somewhere like, yeah. Do you think you can get more than $50? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, sure I can. can. So, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to just limit myself and say, you know, that's where I want to be for just, you know, I would just say $45, $50 for a car. For the bigger the vehicle, then there's a different price for that. That's how I would state that. Okay, let me ask you this too, then. So, because mm -hmm. I'm 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 on I'm on you about these prices, because that's because I'm, I'm uh -huh. all right. So now, is there a is there a certain fear factor? Um. In well, you, in you raising your prices, like. When you sitting at home, you let you kick mm -hmm. it back and you thinking, is, is 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 there a certain fear factor? What is that fear like? Is there a certain? Well, do you have a certain fear factor <laughs> about raising your prices and and and, and what are you afraid of? Well, well I, 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 think I think for me, me the, the the fear, fear factor, factor at first, first it was that I would, I would lose lose customers, customers or lose lose clients, clients that I already had. had. So, so clients, clients and customers, customers you know. You know once again, I'm taking that from your book. I watched your videos, the difference between the client and the customer. So, you know, so my clients are returning clients that, that, that call me on the regular. So, you, you know, the way I look at it, I, I guess I want to make sure that I'm not, not still not doing work. So I want to keep the business going. But I, I, I still, still have, have to, to feed, feed my family, family so, so I have to make, make sure, sure I set it at a certain price. price. So, so at first, I was worried about going up, but, you know, over the last few months, months I've been thinking, I'm like, there's, there's nothing to worry about, about you, know, you know, you you took the faith, faith on, you know, going out and start, start your business, so take the faith out on going to start your own, you know, you know, going up on your prices. Right. So Exactly. That was... The, see the thing is my issue was um my I had the same issue and mm -hmm. it was um uh, I didn't I didn't know how much I can get. Right. Right. I didn't know how much I can get. Um uh, so I was you know, I was hesitant to raise them because I didn't know what I could mm -hmm. get. And this is two thousand this is 2012, 2013. So when I when I hit the scene 2012, I was at 20, 20, mm -hmm. 20 dollars. Okay. okay. <laughs> and uh I went up to 25. Uh went up to 25. And then, you know, a few people told me my prices were too low. Because the area that I'm in, uh, I'm surrounded mm -hmm. like the houses, all the houses around here are like two hundred and fifty thousand and up. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you go down the road, if you go five minutes in any direction, you know, mm -hmm. there's five minutes, there's half a million, quarter three quarters of a million, million dollar homes. Mm -hmm. Uh so 
uh, when I would go to those areas, they would either get my car, I would give them my car and they would see 25, I wouldn't get a phone call. Or uh, I wouldn't get a phone call or I would get told, uh, so what do you get for 25? And I'll tell them. And they was like, all that for 25? And I'd be like, yeah. And they'd be like, oh, okay. And, right. you know, I might get a call. And then I, I remember <laughs> getting, I remember actually getting a phone call. And this was in an area that I, that I go to every week now. Um, okay. It's, it's a, it's, it's on a golf course, you know, it's, it's a gated community. You know, when you pull up, you got a punch of code, the gate open up, you drive in. You look to the right, you see a golf course, you look over here, you see a lake is, you know, you see right, a right. house. This, this is, this is, these houses are, you know, they got, they houses over there start set like maybe 400,000 and their highest is like a million, you know. Okay. So, okay. you know, the, those people out there, they definitely have the income to afford, uh, you know, two, three, four hundred dollar details easy. Right. right. So, and you and know you what? Know what? Mm -hmm. When we well, were talking, talking earlier, earlier and about, about the prices, prices and, and um, you know, the, the demographic, demographic in my surroundings. My surroundings. Mm -hmm. And as, as I was, I was telling, telling you earlier, earlier, you know, now, now that, that you're, 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 you're speaking, speaking on that, that you know, you know now, 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 now it's actually making sense, sense to me because the areas that I'm in, you know, there's like three or four cul-de-sacs right down the road from me and the house is starting at two something. So, you know, 200. So, you know, I got to take that into effect. So. Exactly. So the thing is, is that you, the thing is, is that you got to go, it is, is, you know, a lot of people when I, when I used to, when I first started and I got like, I want to say like 2013, 2014 is when I started, is when I started understanding better and i wanted to and i was like you know i gotta get in this area if i mm -hmm. want this price i gotta get in this area because where i was going they 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 they, they weren't gonna pay for that right right and right. And, and you know uh, mo most can't afford it and then some just not gonna pay that you know right, right. You know, whether you detail, whether you steaming, drill brushing, air gunning, whatever right. you're doing, it don't matter to them. It's a car wash <laughs> to them. Right. And, right. you know, and, and the thing is, is that I always, my goal was to always have understanding, you know, just because you don't agree with somebody, just because this person is wrong, I still want to have understanding. That way, okay. I know how to deal with it when it comes to me. Because I right, understand right. why it's happening. And then that way, I can I can do what I have to do for me. And so, mm -hmm. and so uh, I started realizing that. I started realizing that, you know, when people don't have money, they be real creative on how they try to save it. Right. right. You know, hey, can you, can you, can you do the seats and... Like what if you just what if you just wash it and vacuum it and don't wipe it down? How much do right. I, you know, what about what about don't don't you know the tires already clean come my cousin had plenty of tires, so just do the car. Right. right. And then, but you're gonna get the tires wet when you're doing the car. Right. Anyway, so you gotta so, yep. right, so you know, they'll say something strange like that. You know, what about can you just shampoo my seats and that's it? You know, how right. much would that be? You know, yeah. people get real creative when they don't have the money. And mm -hmm. you you learn that, and then you learn the people that you learn the people that have the money, and they they don't play no games. They serious. And mm -hmm. so what started happening, like what happened was, I was like I told you, I was in that gated community, and a lady called me and she told me what neighborhood she lived in. I was like, yeah, I was just over there the other day passing out flowers. She was like, yeah, I got one of your flowers, and she was like, um, she was like. Uh, uh, how much would it be for a, uh, you know, for a Toyota Camry? You know, so I told her twenty five. You know, mm -hmm. she was like, "What?" And I'm like, "I'm like twenty five. And she was like, "Are you serious?" I'm thinking she think that's too high. Right. right. And so I'm just thinking to myself, "Damn, twenty five dollars too high?" She was like, "No, that's too low." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Wow, like that's coming from a customer." 
Right. right. I've, 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 I've had, had some people, people tell me that so far that, that you know, I have the both sides. sides. Some people say, oh, oh that's, that's too much. You charge that. Then I have the other demographic people tell me, oh, no, you need to charge more for that. You know, that's all. So, you know. And so the thing is, the, the, the thing is, I was just like, you know, I was just, when she told me that, I was just like, okay. So, you know, she said it. This is what she told me. She said, when you charge in that price, it makes me not really take you serious. It mm-hmm. makes me think you're not going to do a good job because the price is just too low. Right. right. And so mm-hmm. I was just like, okay, so she gave me a perspective that I never thought about. And so I was just like, hmm. I didn't argue with her. The only thing I told her is I'm going to do a good job. And mm-hmm. she was like, okay. And so she, I came out. And I'm talking about this lady hadn't even seen my face. This lady hadn't even seen my face. This is over the phone. She's telling right. me. Right. So I get there. I do the job. She pays me. She gives me a big tip. A big tip. Mm-hmm. Like, I think she gave me like a $75 tip, man. Okay. okay. So I think I ended up getting like 100 bucks. So I wrote that off, though. She rich. Mm-hmm. You know, she rich. You right, know, right, everybody right. ain't like that. So then uh, maybe maybe two maybe two weeks later, it's a neighborhood directly across the street. Uh, okay. okay. It has a golf course. It's... The, it's <laughs> It's a different neighborhood, but it looks just like the other one. Houses start at five hundred and up, half a million and up. And so I went out there, and, and she calls me out there. She don't ask me how much it costs. I didn't realize that we didn't talk about price. Right. I was so eager to get started. I, I started. It was a it was a Lexus RX three fifty. The little, okay. the little SUV. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I wipe everything down. You know, it had a little light dust on the, on the, you know, on the uh, controls for the radio in the air. It had dust right there. Right. You know, and I just wipe everything down and vacuum and do my thing, you know. And so then I get done with the vehicle. I run the doorbell. Hey, she comes outside. She looks in the vehicle. Oh, my God. It looks great. Blah, blah, blah. So how much I owe you? I tell her thirty five dollars. <laughs> she started laughing. She thought I was joking. Mm. So, again, I thought that that was too high because when somebody would ask me how much, I was afraid mm-hmm. to give them a price because I'm yeah. trying to size them up. Right, right. I'm trying yep. to size them up to see would this mm-hmm. price sound too high. So let me go. He looked like he might. Let me go a little lower, you know. Yeah, right. right. Yep. yep. You done that I understand. before? Man? Yep. yep. All right. So. So, um, you know, she laughed and was like, "No," she said, "You've been out here three hours." <laughs> she said, "No, I think I had been out there like two and a half hours or something like that." She said, "You've been out here, you know," and she was like, "No, nah, you know what? You know, she put out your own check. I'm gonna give you this." Mm-hmm. And so, like, she ended up giving me, like, a, a $50 tip. Okay. Like $50, $60 tip or something. So, it ended up being, like, 80 something dollars, almost, ni- like, 90 something dollars or something like that. So, this is in two weeks. I've been told by two people that I did not know that, you know, because the lady, the lady with the Lexus kind of scolded me. She was like... Come on now, you run a business. You can't charge those type of prices. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you, you know what? My my, my first, first detail. detail no, excuse me. I didn't say first, first detail, detail, but no, no, no. It was my first detail. detail. So, so my first, my first detail, detail that I've done, done when, when I first, first started, started the business, business, I did, I did the ladies, ladies um, her son's uh, 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 PT cruiser, and then. And she called me to do her Lexus. She had a Lexus for 50. I said, okay. I did hers. And I told her 
How much for her? She said, what? I said, yeah, I'm just trying to get my hand up there. She said, no, let me tell you something. She said, you got to know your worth. She said, I'm going to give you more than that, but you got to know your worth. And when she gave me that, I was like, oh, okay. So then she called me back. I just actually did her car last month. And she said, so, you know, how are things going? I said, things are going pretty well. So she, you know, she got details. So this time. I charged, I charged her accordingly her to what, what I feel like, you know what I'm saying? saying just, just just because, you know, I was out there at, the, you know, this certain, certain time. She was like, okay, okay. you did a great job, blah, blah, blah. She was like, but you still got to know your words. She gave me $100 more than what I, I charged her. So she was like, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to tell you, you got to know your worth. You got to know your worth. She said, you do great work. Don't let nobody undercut you. I said, okay. All right. So like, so. and that's the thing, man. A lot of people don't, a lot of people don't realize that like, and it, um, I, I got on YouTube and I just gave my experience. Uh, I just put my experience out there. I'm not saying what I, everything I did was right. I'm just <laughs> showing you the steps I took to get where I am now. Um, right. Right. Another thing I learned is um, as far as like advice and the two times and it may be others but from my experience the two times that the only two times that experience is, is uh, taken well I mean I'm sorry advice is taken well is if somebody asks you for advice. Mm -hmm. If somebody asks you for advice, it would be received well because they're asking you and are and they're ready to re receive. So they're they're more optimistic, they're open minded. They'll listen because they're seeking advice. Right. right. The other way is when somebody gives you advice and then there's a gesture that comes behind it or they give you the means to take out that advice, like the lady giving you that advice mm -hmm. and then showing you that you're worth it. She's telling you 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 worth that. No, you're worth. Right. And she's showing you your value. And she's giving you extra money. You're not going to argue with her. Right. You can't <laughs> argue enough. with that. You can't mm -hmm. argue with that. All, all you can do is take it in. Even if you don't agree, there's going to be a level of respect there. Right. right. But the thing is, is that a lot of people, especially in the detail community, love to shoot out advice. Love <laughs> to shoot out advice. Shoot it out. Boom, 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 boom. Give you advice. And you might be right. I'm not saying some people give advice and they can be absolutely right. But where you're wrong at is that that person is going through their learning process. Mm -hmm. Let them learn. Right. right. Let them learn. You know, you can you can kind of you, you can kind of have a conversation with them and get to know them. If you truly want to help that person, then. You know, get to know them, have a conversation with them, talk to them, see what they say, and then just just throw stuff out there. You know, just throw mm -hmm. stuff out there here and there. And that person is going to pay attention and start catching on, especially if you're doing the same thing they do and you're doing it at a high level. Right. That person, that person will, will, you know, will just pay attention to you. And then they'll start asking you questions or they'll start, you know, asking you what do you think about this, but... A lot of people like to shoot out advice <laughs> and you're wasting your time because even if you're right, even if you're right, even if you're truly trying to help, if that person is not ready to receive that advice, it's going to fall on deaf ears. <laughs> it's it's going to go on one, one ear out the other. Right. They're not going to, they're, they're not going to listen. So, you know, mm -hmm. the thing is, is that let that person, you know, now if you ask me or mm -hmm. if you ask me, I'll tell you. Or I'm gonna have to give you the, the tools to carry it out. Right. If I'm gonna force it on you, 
Then I had to give you the tools to carry it out. Right. I got to. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So I let people, I, I let people do them. You know, I, you know, I, if, you know, people ask me, is it good to, is it good to start out with twenty five dollars for a detail? I tell them, no. But A and A, you did it. Yeah, you're not me though. Right. right. You're not me. Right. You see what right. I'm saying? And you got to think, think about, about what, what time, time was that, that too. too. You said that was in 2012. This is yeah, that was still that was still too low. 2012. Right. No. No. no right. 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 It was right. though. That's right. what I'm trying to say. But, but you know, you know now you got to think, think about, about now, now though too. too. Right. You got to think about now. So, out. Yeah. You're right. And so I was telling them though, like I was telling them like, no, nah, I don't. I don't. Would you do that if you had to do it all over again? Well, it depends. Do I know? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, if everything fell apart and I started over again, and this time. Hell no, I wouldn't do that again. No. Nah. I wouldn't nope. do it that way. I would I would I would I would it would be another version, but it wouldn't be right. that way because I know I know too much now. You know, mm -hmm. but that's the way that was more comfortable for me to step in the game. Okay. You know, that's that's why I started at that price. But you know, looking back, I could have got more for that, you know. I could have got more for that, and then people take advantage of you because this is what they'll do. If you at if you at that low price, if you're at that low price, mm -hmm. they'll call you more often. <laughs> or yeah. they'll call you more often, but they'll wait for it to be destroyed, then call you. Yeah. Yeah. They'll and destroy then, it. And then they want that price. And want that price and won't tip you. Yeah. yeah. And I just I and my thing is that lady that did that, this is what I'm thinking. You got a guy in your nasty, destroyed interior for three, and you said three and a half hours. Mm -hmm. Three and a half hours, and you gonna give him twenty? He said twenty five, but you couldn't throw a ten dollar tip in there just on <laughs> just on the principle, like you know. Mm -hmm. I feel you know, but the good customers. The good customers, they feel bad. They feel bad mm -hmm. when you're out there for a long time. Yeah, like, they bring, oh, it's just like you said, they bring you water, water. Yeah. you know, you, know, you, want, you want a snack, snack or something, yeah. you know, can I get you something to eat? Yeah. yeah. I'm going right. to go get something to eat. You want something? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. All of that, man. So, so like, uh, how long with your, like, with your condition, you've been in the wheelchair? <clears throat> Uh, now you using the wheelchair to work. How mm -hmm. how long does it take you to do a detail? Do you think it take you longer, or do you think you can compete with a with with with, with a regular person like just? Well, I mean, you are a regular person. You know what I mean? Well, right, person, right, yeah, right, right, right. Somebody that's yeah, able body yeah, yeah. versus right. in the wheelchair. Right. Right. Do you think right. you, you think you can compete? You think you can compete in the same time frame? Yeah. You, you know what? I was I was. I didn't, I didn't want to put, put it out there, there but, but I, I wanted to ask, ask you know, other details like, like, hey, how long does it take you to do a, like, just say a standard uh, uh, sedan, you know, an in and out, how long is that? So for me, it takes me somewhere, I'll say about maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Dang. Oh, 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 oh. So an in and out, what are you doing on the in and out? What do you clean? What 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 does that all include? Okay, so wiping down the the dash, the doors, vacuum. You know, if, if it's not destroyed. Now, if they if it's destroyed, then of course I'm charging more. So that's how I just consider that. So now I'll take that back. So for like a in and out, I'll say somewhere. A good forty-five minutes, basically, just because you know I'm. Right. Is that is that just doing the car, or is that setting up, packing up? Do you do you add in, you know, unpack, setting up, and then unpacking? And do you add that in? Oh, okay. Car? Yeah, yeah, because I'm, you know, saying I look at the time I get there. And you know, getting everything on. With packing and unpacking. Maybe, hmm. So you telling me? 45 minutes, you should you get there, you unpack, mm -hmm. 
You knock the car out, you pack up in 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. That's 40. No, 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 like, for instance, if they're doing the in and out, uh, if it's not trash, from the time I get there, I'll say probably about an hour, hour and 15. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And I'm looking at the size of the vehicle, too, you know, and nine times out of 10, it's just me. You know what I'm saying? I may have some help every now and then, but 90%, 95% of the time, this is, it's just me. So, you know, I may go a little slower on certain, you know what I'm saying, certain, certain vehicles because, you know, how big it is and things like that. And I'm, you know, moving around certain places and different areas like that. So, yeah. Okay. Let's see who in the chat, man. Let's see. Mr. X, what's going on? Sean Ryder, Callus Auto Detailing, Don't Ride Dirty, Sharon Webb, Aaron Holmes, Cordrick Ashley. We got Alonzo from Zowash Auto Detailing in the building. Ricardo Automobile Detailing. We got Dino or Dino. What's going on? Angel, what's up? Mobile car wash. I see you. What's going on? Uh, so do you uh do you just do detailing? Or do you do you provide other services? Uh no, I just do detailing. Okay. I saw a video where you did some pressure washing once. Oh well, 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 well yeah, so you know, no, I was dibbling and dabbing that. Somebody asked me to do that, so I'm eventually trying to get my hands into that. You know, um, the more somebody asks, it, then I'll, you know, I'll do it. I got to promote that more, you know what I'm saying, to get that out there. But, um, yeah, that was my first time doing it, and, you know, they liked it. So, so yeah. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. So. Great, man. So, like, man, uh, so, like, are you, you know, the thing is, is that, um, to you know actually to be successful in this and to stand out and to uh make sure that uh you're always busy and that you can always bring in income every day uh touch cash mm-hmm. every day you know that's what i love to say but um, right you know you got to have diversified services right okay, okay. and uh so it's like you got a pressure washer there's several things that you can do with that pressure washer um mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you can also do, um, I see you did the steps and everything too. So, you know, you, I see you kind of like you did the driveway or something too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You yeah. did the driveway, the house. I saw that. So mm-hmm. it's, it's so much, you know, it's, it's other things you can do with, with the, with the equipment that you have, uh, right. surface, not, uh, not surface cleaners, but, uh, uh, what you call it, extractors, stuff like that. You can. You could do furniture. Uh, you could do furniture. Uh, if you got a big enough extractor, you could probably do somebody's house. So, like, right. uh, is there any other thing that you're thinking about getting into? Um, well, uh, I was, you, you know, the 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 whole driveways and the and the thing and things like that. Say it again. The, the driveways and the porch, porch and things like, like that. that. So, oh, so you know, the only thing you're looking to get into. Yeah, yeah just, you, you know, know the, at, at the at the at the moment, moment right now, now. Yes. So, like, uh, what about like, uh, do you do any paint correcting and the headlight restoration, any uh, ceramic coatings, or or is that anything else you, you're trying to get into? The I'm about, I'm about to start, to start uh, doing, doing the uh, headlight, headlight restoration, restoration and the paint, paint correction, correction, things like that. that. Okay. So you have you been do, have you been getting your research, doing your research on it, or or, or yeah, you, yeah. you got it down pack already? What? Well, well, no, 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 no. I've, I've been doing my research, research so, so okay. you know no, I'm, I'm going to go and get a you know, know um, an old headlight and 
you, you know, and, and work on that and, you know, try to do correction of that. You know, on the headlights, you know, try to work, work on that and then use my car, you know, to do paint correction, things like that also. Okay. So yeah, um I'm going to uh, uh, start doing the uh, the headlight, um, um, get those together so I can, you know, add that to my portfolio, and then the paint correction. So, yeah, and the, and the, the thing is, is that the more and more, the more and more you get into, the more and more you start learning different things and getting into different things, mm -hmm. you're gonna start, you're gonna start to look at price different. Right. Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you what happened to me one day. I get on I get on a Facebook group. Uh, I just, uh, this Facebook group is 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 for the county that I live in. Okay. But it's everybody who has a business. Like you have to have a business to be mm -hmm. in the group. Yeah, I got, I got one, one of those. Yeah. So somebody sent me somebody you know somebody sent it to you know sent it to me. Invited me. Yeah, invited me actually. And so I joined it. Matter of fact, one of my clients sent it to me. And uh, I joined it. And you know how it goes. You join it. You join it and you don't, uh, you know, you don't, you're not active on it. And what ended up happening is I said, you know what? Let me post something on there. So I do a, I do a commercial. Mm -hmm. I do like a headlight restoration commercial. And I get a light. I get a car. It was perfect. It was a less. It was a LS. A Lexus LS. Okay. She had to buy a headlight because I think it was busted or something happened to it. So she had an old. She had the original headlight that was, that was uh. That was all. What you call it? What you call when that stuff uh, on there? Yeah. yeah. It was like, like cloudy, cloudy and, and yeah, filmy. What, you, what they call it though? What they call it? Uh, Somebody help me! Come on, detailers. Oxidized. Uh, okay. It was oxidized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oxidized. Yeah. So, headlights. That headlight was oxidized. The other headlight was brand new. It was shiny. You know, looking <laughs> yeah. all nice or whatever. So this is a lady I cut a yard, and every day I would pass a yard. I mean, every day I would pass the car as I'm doing the yard or whatever. And I was like, Yo, I can do the headlight for you. And she was like, really? I was like, yeah, I can make it look like the other one. She was like, really? And I know Lexus headlights are so easy, you know, mm -hmm. all of them. I don't care which one you do, which year, they, mm -hmm. come, they come back looking brand new. You know, every time I've never had a problem with, with none of them. So uh, I said, yeah, I can come back and I'll, I said, I'll come back and do it. Uh, like it was probably on a Thursday or something like that. I said, yeah, I'll come back and do it Saturday. She was like, okay. So uh, I show up, I ring her doorbell. She don't come to the door, nothing like that. So I was like, I just got started. Took me like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Got done with the head like. Then I knocked on her door again. She came to the door. She came outside. She was like, whoa. She was like, you done already? How long you been out here? I said, I've been out here about 20 minutes. And so she paid me. So I recorded that. Mm -hmm. and so I made a video out of it. And I, I think I've seen that video right. too. So I put it on my Facebook and then I put it on my I put it on my Facebook and on my Instagram and then I put it on. But what I did was I'll make footage and I would y'all would see part y'all would see the the whole footage on YouTube. Then I'll mm -hmm. break it down into like a minute and put it on Facebook. Then I'll break it down again. And I would use that same minute clip that I was putting on Facebook and Instagram and everywhere else, but the music would be different. And 
the content will be different. You know, what I'm talking about will be different. So I actually, you know, you got to hit cloudy headlight, you know, call a and we can restore your headlight, don't go buy a new one, you know, all of that. Right. So, okay. I took, so I took, so I gave her the, so um, I put that on that Facebook group. And when I tell you, when I put that on that Facebook group, it seemed like every day, someone called me for a headlight restoration. I was doing mm. two, three headlight restorations a day. Okay. At $75. And it was taking me 20 minutes to do it, to do both headlights. It took me 20, right. 30 minutes to do both headlights. And, <laughs> and then I, start, I started uh, learning how to do them faster and start learning, learning like, oh, I don't even need that step. That step is unnecessary, you know, like, you know, I can go from, you know, 600 to 1,000 or, oh, this headlight ain't that bad. I can use a 1,000 grit. It's, I can, use, I can right. use 800 grit and then just shit, just start compounding. You know, oh, this one don't even need no sandpaper. I just compound it. And I started, okay. you know, I started learning it. And, and, and it was, mm-hmm. I was getting faster and getting better at it. And I'm talking about, I remember one day I did three headlight restorations, you know, and I was like, dang. My headlight restoration is more <laughs> because a headlight restoration at the shop be a hundred dollars. Right. You know, you could go to a dealership, like in my area, it's ninety nine dollars for headlight restoration. Okay. So, and then at the time I was charging sixty five for my maintenance detail, and my headlight restoration was seventy five, and it was taking me so that had that had me thinking about my prices again. I didn't change them immediately, but they had me mm-hmm. thinking about my prices. I was just like, hmm. And, you know, <laughs> I was like, but you also got to understand, you also got to understand that sometimes uh, just certain things just cost because, you know, because that's the going rate. And right. right. That's the going rate, you know, because every detail don't know how to do no headlight restoration. Mm-hmm. You know? So just because, you know, it's a, a lot of people out there don't know how to do it. Don't, you know, and, and are scared to do it. But literally, you know, in in about an hour and 30 minutes, I was making, you know, $225. You know, like, I mean, like, I, I know you heard of Tolly's, right? Mm-hmm. Tolly's. Tolly's, he started his whole empire <laughs> of headlight restoration. That's how he started oh, his wow. business. That's how he started his business. And he said he had a backpack. Okay. He had a backpack with with the stuff in it. <laughs> and he would just go. He would just go. He would just go to the place and, and knock them out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but you know, you know, know what, what I was, was thinking, thinking too? too? The, the fact, fact that, that you know, you know I, worked I worked throughout the winter too. So a lot of people be like, "Man, you doing? Hey, I, 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 I got to work. work. I bundle up, and you know, I get I get it going." So. During my, my slow times, times as, as it's about to go into the, the fall now, now and, and you know, I, I'm, I'm still, still working, working whatever people call I'm coming. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm gonna use that time to, to you know, to work on different things as far as like, you know, getting, getting the headlight, headlight stuff together. together. You know what I'm saying? I started doing the, you know, the paint correction, certain things, just doing my research and, you know, and getting that stuff going. So when it's time to come out here for the spring and it's, you know, summer, boom, let's go. And so, do you like what do you, do you save up a nest egg? Yeah, you save up mm-hmm. a nest egg throughout the year for the winter. So, how 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 slow does it get? Um, well, you know, so my my first year it was it was it was completely slow. But coming off this past year, from from this past winter until now, it's been going. Right. I wasn't, I wasn't slow, slow at all in the winter well, time. And I was oh, like, right. yeah, the more customers that you're coming across, <laughs> you're building yeah. up a customer base. So it's like, it's not as it does. It's not going like it did in the winter time, but I mean in the summertime. But every but year, but it's still a constant right, flow. Right. But every year, your winters will get better and better mm-hmm. and better. But me, just not knowing what what the winter gonna bring, because you never know. You mm-hmm. never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I, I mean, here you know, in Ohio, you know, it's constantly, you know, it's it's 
cold and you know you may see 50 degree weather one day you may see 10 degree one you know weather one day but my method is i try to go out if it's 40 degrees and the sun is out right you know what i'm saying or you know what i'm saying somewhere around 38 to 40 degrees and the sun is out long the sun is beaming on me and i'm i'm lather up i'm gone right mm -hmm. exactly and I, I i like that drive and, and that's the thing man you know that's why i took you know uh i brought him on today so you guys can see someone that wants it bad you know you, 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 you that's a, this is a person that wants it bad i mean no matter what's going on with him you know no matter what obstacles that he got he you know he's like okay that's not that's not that's not i know i got this going on i know there's going to be some challenges but it's not enough to stop me it's not enough for me to say okay you know what i'm not going to do this mobile detailing thing nope. no not at all i, I mean, gotta, gotta keep, keep going. going the weather that's what i'm saying the weather and and, and the thing is is that I, I see, like, I, 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 I be, I'm i going to be watching, but I see your business doing some great things. I see it growing. I see you, I actually see you getting more than 50 bucks for your, for your cheapest, for your cheapest package. I appreciate I that, get, man. I see you I'm getting more than 50 business. bucks because it's no, it's no way around it. I'm a, it's, it's no way around it. Mm -hmm. The work that you're putting in, mm -hmm. there's, it's, there's going to be no way around it. It is, it, you're gonna you're, you're putting too much work in and you are that that repetition that you're doing and constantly being out there you're increasing the chances you know for you to run into for you to run into the type of people that you that you need to be that you need to be in front of right right it's going to happen it's going to happen because mm -hmm. the thing is it's going to happen and then you're doing you're working towards a mastery level because you're putting so many hours in. Right. Like you put so many hours in because I'm looking at your photos. You got all these photos. You know, I don't care how much you was getting for those details. I mean, this is the work that you've done. Mm -hmm. You keep doing something over and over again. You know, right. you're going to get good at it. You're going to be a master at it. You do anything for 10,000 hours, you're going to be a master at it. I don't care what nobody say because that's enough time to make all your mistakes. That's enough right. time to learn, you know, whatever. So, how many cars have? How many cars can you do on, in a day on average? On a day on the average, average I'll say, say about, about five, five, six. Five, six cars. So five what are those? Cars. So 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 when you say five or six cars, are there a mixture of different packages, or are there? Yeah. Different okay yeah a, a mixture of different packages like we were speaking earlier uh the one weekend i did uh it was a total of six cars i i went out at eight o'clock in the morning and i didn't make it back home to like almost maybe nine o'clock at night but so it was a mixture of you know ins and outs and it was a you know full details whether they were you know suvs or you know, cars that was, you know, trashed or not, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. Okay. So what's the most you ever made in a day? What's the most you ever made in a day? Uh, the most I've made in a day so far has been about 650. 650. How many cars? How many cars? Oh, uh, cars. That was five cars. Five cars. Okay. And I could have went more, but I ran out of water. You was trying to do more. I was trying to do more. Well, they were they were trying to give me more business, but you know I ran out of water. I, I was, it was late at night, so I I was out all day and I was I was done. So I bet your phone was ringing. You still out there? It was. It, it was. It was. You still Where you at? Yeah. It was. It was. I, I know how that you make is. sure you you make sure you be careful. What's that tell you on? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I, I know yeah. that is. I, I I know that type of conversation. I already know. Uh, yes, sir. But, but man, you get that tunnel vision, man. You don't be thinking about none of that until they no, say so, until they say something. You be like, I'll be all right. right. You start looking around. Right. Like, <laughs> right. You start looking around like you know what? Let me get on out of here for somebody to hit me yeah. up my head. Take my little yeah. money I done made today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. But like, man, I'm. I'm like I, I I've been watching for I've been watching for a minute, you know, and like I said, I didn't know that you was doing the cars in that condition, man. I I, I did I had no clue for like for like at least eight months, mm -hmm. and when and and I was I was in shock, man. I was just like, wow, you know, and and, and I was asking myself like, how did he? I remember one day it was like, yo, how you get the top? And then I a, hey, a couple of, I a, couple of a couple of I days later, I saw you on the top. I was like, "Oh, <laughs> this guy doing the top of the car." I was just like, "Whoa!" Like, like, man, and all I, I take can, that step up ladder can, and get up there, baby. All I can say, like, all I can say was, "That's the person that wants it bad." <laughs> yeah. That's the person that wants man. it bad. I remember somebody was on a new wave. I don't remember who it was. And if I did, I I'm, I wouldn't say his name. You know, I'm not mm -hmm. about embarrassing people, but you can learn from everything. Right. This guy, this guy was like, um, I bought all my stuff. I bought all my stuff. Uh, I just don't know why. I can't get I can't get started. Yeah, I guess it's my lazy side kicking in. He said something like that. Mm -hmm. you know, he used those words, my like my lazy side and everything. And I'm looking at it, and everybody is, you know, trying to motivate them. You know, don't worry about it. Get on, just get out there, try it out. Right. What is that? And I'm I'm looking, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna type something in. But then I was like, no, nah, like it ain't nothing for me to say because. I can see you don't want it bad enough. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't yeah. want it bad enough. And 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 I remember I remember when I first joined the military. I was in basic training. And I was in basic training and my dad I I called back home to my parents. And my dad I was talking to my dad, and I was having a hard time with uh, because I, I was a sprinter. I wasn't a long distance runner, and you okay. had to run two miles. I and, and uh, it was I just got there, so I wasn't conditioned to do two miles. You know, to to jog two miles, mm -hmm. and I remember I had to do it in under under fourteen minutes. Under under no, I think I had to do it under fifteen minutes or something like that. You know, two miles. Okay. And uh I remember running it the first time I ran it, it was it was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. Like mm -hmm. I, I I I never I don't think I've I, I you know what, I'm not gonna say that. But I never jogged at a fast pace for two miles at that point. I was nineteen years old. I had mm -hmm. never done it. Now sprinting, oh I bust you down sprint, but Okay. 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 But 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 actually, you know, but there's just that long distance. That was another animal, and I and uh, so I told my dad, you know, I was like, yeah, you know. Uh, I told him about it the first time, you know, and then the second time, I mean, I was telling him about it. Then the second time I was talking to him, he asked me about it. I said, yeah. I said, Dad, I missed it by four seconds. <laughs> And he said, "Yeah, you must didn't want it bad enough." And, mm. Yeah, and it made me mad, you know. But you know, you you know, I couldn't, I couldn't talk to my dad crazy, you know. So I, I just right. took it. You know, I just took it, and I was mad. I, I was kind of mad at him for saying it. And then, and but he said one thing. He said one thing to me that put it all that put it that brought it all together. He said, I watched you grow up. I watched you as a baby. And he said, whenever you wanted to do something, 
you always found a way to get it done. He said, you missed it by four seconds. And, you know, my dad knew the inner work. He wasn't in the military, but he knew the inner workers of the military. Okay. And when you're doing a PT test, they're yelling out the numbers. They're yelling as you're running. Mm-hmm. So when you're going through certain checkpoints or whatever, when you're going through certain checkpoints, you still there? Yeah, I'm still there. Okay. I'm still here. Yeah, yeah, it's froze up. So when you're going through certain checkpoints, they're giving out the time. Okay. And so I can hear the time. So I know what time I got to run it in. My dad's like, how'd you miss it by five seconds? They they do four seconds. They're giving the time. You could have sprinted, ran, you know, ran that last little bit. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, so that, you know, I always take that with me. So whenever, okay. yeah, whenever, whenever, uh, because trust me, I'll figure anything out if I want it bad enough. I'll find that out. I'll, I'll learn it, figure it out. It ain't going to stop me. If I don't do it, it's because at some point I was just like, you know what, the hell with it. And right. I'll do I'll do it later. And mm-hmm. in the moment, I didn't want it bad enough. So uh, that, that's what I saw when I saw what you was doing, man. But, uh, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. But yeah, man. But uh, is there anything else you want to say or any questions you got for me? Uh, um, or if there's any questions anybody in the chat has for him. Uh, see questions. Uh, you know, I just, I just, it's, it's, it's just like I said, you know, I continue to watch you over the last two years and, you know, I appreciate, you know what I'm saying? The, the information you put out there, because like I said, you helped me and stuff, things that I didn't know that I was able to to put together so you know even if you didn't know now you know so once again now man I, I appreciate that let me ask you this what was your first what was do you remember the first video you seen of mine yeah you did a uh it was the orange camaro <laughs> that's the 20 dollar detail <laughs> the that's, orange the, camaro. that's the 20 dollar detail no that was orange camaro yeah yep yep that was the 20 that was the 20 dollar detail that video is called the i think it's called the 20 dollar special is what that okay. video yep. is called, right? That, okay. that, that that video has a lot of views, man. Um, okay, somebody got a question. Uh, they asking, do you have a YouTube channel going? It, you, you know, know what? what? I, started I started it, but I didn't put. put I don't put, put enough effort into it. Should, should I say so? so if I, I get, get back, back into it, it maybe, maybe I'll. put but, you know what I'm saying the time into it to get it going again you know I got a I got a video out there of me doing the big party bus that I do the big limo party buses but um yeah I do have one but you know it's like I said I don't put the time and effort and maybe over the winter I'll you know what I'm saying from all the videos that I do have and content you know I'll put more effort into it and get it going yeah, you you're really you you're really inspire some people, man. You start doing some YouTube videos, and that's another that could be another source of revenue from you. You can actually make money from those from those videos. Okay, okay. Because because uh, I mean, yeah, you know, a lot of people look at what you're doing to get motivated and and, and want to do it too. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna you know I'm gonna take, take that, that in, in you know and, and get, get it together get and start. start. Start, start putting, putting it together. together yeah okay yeah if you need some help you know you need some help on like some content or some ideas uh uh things like that uh you're gonna have to do your re- mm-hmm. own research on the editing though uh i got you i got my daughter my daughter okay okay okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, so, i can yeah. i can you know i can help you on on the content because uh you can okay i mean it's it's, it's a lot of people out there there's a lot of people out there that 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 that, that, um, that don't know what to do, aren't motivated, mm-hmm. and um, you can look and see what's missing. You can watch videos and see what's missing, and then you can fill that void. Because uh, when I was watching it, when I was watching YouTube, and when I was thinking about uh, when I was thinking about what I was gonna do, I was seeing that a lot of guys was just mainly about how to like how to wash it okay. how to do this or mm-hmm. 
product reviews and, 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 and things like that. So I'm like, yo, it's enough content out there on that. I'm going to try to talk on the business aspect, but all mm-hmm. the time, you know, most of the time I'm, a, I'm coming from a business aspect on, or from a, a, from a mindset, you know, uh, you know, having, you know, having the correct mindset when you, when you start the right. business. Because you've noticed right. I'm not a I'm not a how to guy. I'm like, yo, just you know, having the correct mindset going in, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. But man, I'm gonna let you go, man. Uh I think I had you on here for a minute. Let me see how long we've been on here. Uh let's see. I think we've been on for about a, maybe an hour and hour and a half. Hour. Yeah, I don't have an hour and some change, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, I'm gonna let you go, man. Uh, and uh, man, we'll we, uh, we'll be chopping it up real soon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, it's, it's like I said. You know, I really appreciate you reaching out to me, man. And you know, you know, uh, yeah. It's like I said. You know, I appreciate you reaching out. Stuff. Yeah, that's the thing, man. I, I want to put people on here. That has some that has something to say and had a story and, and, and has something mm-hmm. going on, um, <clears throat> because uh, I, I pay attention to what's going on. A lot of people, uh, like it's just like everybody's the same, you know. Right. It's kind of like everybody's the same, and it's just like I kind of want to, you know. That's how I kind of like the interviews. And I, you remember I used to do the interviews and how they kind of. Yeah. Yeah, how they kind of, you know, well, the main reason why they fell off is because they changed the software. They discontinued the software, and then uh, it's just not that many, it's just not that many detailers on there that, you know, it's not many that I, well, actually, it's not that many that I come across. I don't even watch <laughs> watch other detailers or whatever, but mm-hmm. when I do come across ones that, that, that got something to them or got something going on or there's just something about them, you know, I was right. like, okay, let's let's see let's see what this guy's about. And I got a, you know, I ain't got but eight thousand. What I'm looking right now, I got like eight point five eight eight point four five k subscribers. It's not a whole lot, but it's enough to kind of get you out there, man. You know, like let people know who you okay. are, man. And uh, because uh, for a long time I didn't see your face, I just saw cars, you know. Right. And so right. that it'll put a face to the name. You know what I'm saying? Right. 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 So. Uh, Y'all go. Uh, what's your put your what's your Instagram handle? Uh, it's, it's Wet Mobile Car Wash. So it's W H E T S Mobile West Mobile Car Wash. Okay, West Mobile Car Wash. Okay. Mm-hmm. So y'all go over there, and follow him on Instagram. He's a member of the New Wave. Uh, you gonna have to get active, man, because you don't be posting nothing on the on the New Wave, man. You gotta get active, man. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I put some on there. Right, so now y'all know when y'all see him, y'all know a face to the name. But uh, I'm gonna let you go, man. It was nice, nice, man. Night. Thanks you for stop. Thank you for stopping by, man, and doing this, man. All right, I appreciate it, man. You have a good night. All right, I'll get with you later. All right. All right. All right.
<clears throat> Yo, what up, everybody? Let me... Y'all bear with me. All right, y'all. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. <clears throat> but uh, just one more thing I want to say, man, is this, this detail thing is all up to you. Uh, that's if you want it bad enough. I mean, it's all up to you. Uh, I mean, this guy uh, has a disability that he was born with, and... Uh, through through it all, he's out there getting it in. Uh, so you know, you you if you if this is something you want to do, you got to ask yourself how bad do you really want it? Uh, would you would you actually go out here and you know would you actually go out here and work for twenty bucks? <laughs> you know, would you actually go out here and do it if you had to do it? Like if you had to do it to be successful, would you do it? Uh, if you had to work in the cold to be successful, would you do it? You know? It's just how bad you want it. But I'm out, guys. Shouts out to the new wave. Peace.